While help on the way from Arkansas to Louisiana, Governor Asa Hutchinson approving civilians and National Guard members to help recovery efforts following Ida's destructive landfall. The Salvation Army and National Guard members are shipping out tomorrow with supplies to help feed and evacuate people. Five News reporter Bailey Devane has more as they're getting ready to go. Starting tomorrow, the National Guard is sending 500 soldiers to Minden, Louisiana, around 30 minutes east of Shreveport, so they can provide high water transport to evacuate people to safety using military vehicles that can withstand floodwaters. So they're going to be doing route clearing, uh, uh, removing trees and stuff from roads. Uh, they may be providing some security as well, and then they'll also be providing high water transport, uh, helping evacuate people through high water to get them to safety. Once they get there, the National Guard tells us the soldiers will be in Louisiana indefinitely until they're no longer needed. It's part of service, service to your country, service to your state. We've got a long history of helping out our, our friends down in Louisiana, certainly after Hurricane Katrina came through uh, back in 2005. The Salvation Army of Arkansas and Oklahoma are also packing up their trucks with supplies to cross state lines. Today, Fayetteville volunteers loaded up one of their emergency disaster trucks with enough food and water to serve 500 meals. Make sure people have hydration, people have food, and then that people have the emotional, spiritual kind of care and support that they need as they're going through the crisis that they're going through. Salvation Army volunteers say the community can help families in Louisiana by giving monetary donations. Some of these families have lost everything and need support. People are in a moment of crisis. This is what we train for. This is what we're prepared to, to serve. It's what our calling is. So the Salvation Army is prepared to go down and meet those needs right on the front lines. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. All right, Bailey, thanks. National Guard members of the 142nd Field Artillery Brigade are shipping out from Fort Smith tomorrow. The rest will leave the state on Wednesday.